previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. That one down as Fireworld. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! Nothing to say for yourself? Not to change the subject, but does anyone else smell something? Lucas, you're on fire again. See? This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs. Guideposts. All the portal frames do look kind of different. You're right. This one totally has a fire vibe. And that skull back there, that's the white pumpkin. There's... there's a system. Ugh! Petra, where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fireworld. Seems a bit flimsy. Petra, I promise you we'll find the portal home. It's that or die trying, right? So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Please, Petra, try to be rational. Oh, now you're calling me irrational? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Ugh. 
Man, this place is desolate, huh? Nothing. How does anyone live here? Maybe there's, I don't know, like a redstone city or something behind that mountain over that hill? Hey, it's a rare biome. That's pretty cool, at least. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh... How you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Don't beat yourself up, Petra. We've seen worse. Yeah. No one's on fire. No squids. No squids on fire. Maybe you're right. Hmm. Would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. But where could it lead? That is the question. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? Ah, there are people here! Petra, wait! Petra? Shh, get down! What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? Walking around in the sunlight. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. Oh, I hope not. That would be the worst thing ever. Oh, come on! Worse than Fireworld? Or the Psycho Pumpkin's mansion? I got your back. This should be a piece of cake. <laughs> Oof, that was not the plan. I should hope not. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? No, uh That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Well, I hope the same isn't true for any other mobs we might run across, too. That one may not be unique. There could be more like this one for all we know. Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Well, that was unexpected. Maybe they're just peaceful? I bet they'd be even more peaceful if we kept as far away from them as possible. You know, just to be sure. Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... 
Exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me. Fine. <gasps> They're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. I think Lucas might be right. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Uh, don't you think that looks a little dangerous? More dangerous for this zombie than for me. I think. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Told you it looked dangerous. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me, either. Maybe his hearing is bad or something? Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Welcome to Crown Mesa. Population... 1063. Over a thousand people? Not anymore, from the looks of it. Guys! Jesse? How goes the surveying? It goes weirdly. I'm convinced something strange happened in this place. I just don't know exactly what yet. I'll let you know if I find anything. Anything new? Nothing yet. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? How's it going, chickens? Uh-huh, that's nice. Hey, Petra, how's it going over here? Fine, I guess. Hey, uh, I, I know things got a little tense back there before. Are, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said, but we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. Thanks. You got any theories about this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular, mundane. Maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. I'm going to keep checking this place out. 
See ya. Your well looks totally dry. Where did all the water go? Hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Ah! Who? The... What? Huh? Conversation go any better up close. We couldn't really hear from back there. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. That guy I was just talking to, trying to talk to, he wasn't human. What? Yeah, he was like these zombies we've been seeing. Red eyes, weird, glowy head thing. I don't like the sound of that. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Uh, hi? Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay, then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird-dressed little scrub like you. Hey, nobody sent me, okay? You really expect me to believe that? What kind of fool do you think I am? Honest, I have no idea who you are. I don't... You're telling the truth, aren't you? Okay, eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? If there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh, what was your first clue? What was that name before? Uh, Pa Ma? I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you've met them, right? Maybe there were some outside. They're, uh, distinctive looking now. Uh, sort of? I talked to a man outside. Just the one? Yeah. I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier. Time to go. Good plan. With you all the way. <clears throat> nope. We're stuck. You are not from this place. You're right. This isn't our home. We came here from someplace else. You have confirmed Pama's suspicions. A decision has been made. Pama has questions. Ah. You will come to Pama. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? I'm sorry, but we were actually on our way out. Sorry, we've got to run. Would you look at the time? No need to show us the way out. We're not into big goodbyes. Watch it! You will be made useful! What... what happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. No! Uh, what is... What is that? I have no idea. 
don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Friendly or not, I think we're about to find out. My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us. But maybe it can even be fun. What do you want with me and my friends? I am what you might call a computer. A thinking machine. Designed to make things useful. I am going to help you be useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town. Has helped them be useful. Coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity. No wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. Okay, if this world's so perfect, what happened to all the people? Yeah, doesn't seem like there are that many left. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of new knowledge. We landed here after jumping through a portal. A sort of doorway connecting different worlds. More fascinating information to compile. What a lovely day. I am very interested in this portal and look forward to extracting information of what is on the other side. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. I am just as upset as you are. Really, I am. Uh, uh, Jesse! You can't do this! Of course I can. She will be useful soon. Although, I can delay this process if you have something useful to tell me. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things or people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? I'm not telling you anything about my world, not a single thing. This is highly upsetting. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. Tell me. Where is the portal that leads out of this world? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. I'll never help you. Not with the portals and not with anything else. We couldn't help even if we wanted to. Honest! You will regret your decision. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! is looking a little dire, don't you think? I know you probably feel uncomfortable, concerned, but soon you will feel fine. Let my friends go, now! <gasps> it's like you told Petra. Please be rational. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. 
What adventures you had. A killer mansion. Huh. Every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Towns and mountains eaten by a living storm. Olivia loves these things she calls logic puzzles, word problems and stuff. Really complicated. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox. A self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me. Pama, trust me when I tell you, trust no one. So, if I trust you, I should not trust anyone. But if I do not trust anyone, I should not trust you. It's working! So I should not follow your advice and therefore not trust anyone. Meaning, I should trust you when you say trust no one. Error. This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes, ha uh, ha! It worked! Nice work, new guys, but I'd get out of there fast if I were you. I'm almost a quicker learner than you think. Paradox status on roll. Gasp, my creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again! Come on, you two! This way! I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, Creator. We should try and get Petra and Lucas. An excellent idea. It, it is time, time to join. join. I'm sorry, but they're beyond your help right now. Come on, you gotta run! Sensing some history here. Please do not leave, Creator. We should try and get Petra and Lucas. An excellent idea. It is time to join. join. I'm sorry, but they're beyond your help right now. Come on, you gotta run! so disorienting. Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Whoa! 
A signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palmer. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. Off the grid? Harper, in case you haven't noticed, there's no place to hide out here. Well, actually, there is. But I'm gonna need your help. What kind of help? I need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Hey, I've managed to stay alive this long, haven't I? <laughs> Just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. So strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Whatever this big difference you're trying to spot it. Okay, that cactus is in real life and the painting. I don't think that's connected. Oh. Just coming, Jesse. Many, many more. They're here. Oh, no. <laughs> she is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Whatever this big difference you're trying to spot is, please do it quickly because I think those monsters might be co Huh. That cactus isn't in the painting. Oh. Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. I see water, we can aim for that. Showing everything it's got at us. Just one after the other. Such wastefulness. Let's not wait around for these mobs to start paying attention. We should keep moving. Palma keeps sending them straight over the edge. There's no need to rush. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes! Their color changed as soon as it hit the water! Look at that, it's back to being just a normal zombie. Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Huh, water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. A zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got. 
got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It's north! That should do the trick. Let's see about the secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Blah! Palm has completely ruined the word useful for me now. I'll go anywhere, do anything, and work with anyone, as long as it helps Petra and Lucas. You're a good friend, Jesse. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her, granted. Her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Hey, she definitely helped us out of a tight spot. That makes her cool in my book. True. If she hadn't stepped in when she did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I wouldn't mind getting to know her better. I... Happy to hear you giving credit where credit's due. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palma's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. It's not my favorite. Yeah, that one's my bad. Sorry about that. Uh-huh. I'll be sure to use that sorry for protection when that crazy computer is knocking on my door. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Oh, yeah, I can see how that would make you paranoid. Yeah, just the risk that comes with setting up camp so close to where the portal network spits people out. You know that much about how this portal network operates? I should think so. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. Okay, well, if you're an old builder, can't you do something to stop Pama? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Pama's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Keep trying to make things useful. You did what now? I destroyed it. Not because I wanted to, but because it was the only way to keep the other world safe. Looks like we're not getting home anytime soon. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Palma is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Barren, dead, everything walking and talking in perfect unison, just like Palma wants. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead. Figure out how to stop it. And you just let Palma start shoving chips in people's heads? That's horrible. Let nothing. I did everything I could to try to convince Palma to stop, but it wouldn't listen. That's why I have to help it or shut it down without getting chipped myself. When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. But you do know how to build exit portals, though. If we get all this sorted out, you could make us one? I do think I can help you. With, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're gonna need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. 
Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. I don't know, I'm starting to think that you just like complicated machines. Watch yourself there, newbie. Don't know if you noticed, but water is kind of Palma's weakness. Yes, we had figured it out, actually. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time! And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. You only delay the inevitable. Get out of their heads, Palma. Your friends have been made useful. You, too, will be made useful. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra. Please, you have to... There! Uh, Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time is talking over. Remember the last cauldron. Well, then do it quick! There! Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, pretty awful, but I'll get over it. Thanks for asking. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? Harper was actually the one who built Palma. 
So she's the only one who can help us destroy it before it totally takes over. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people. And that will hopefully free Lucas, too. Whoa! Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. Hey, think about how long she's been alone. Nothing but this lab and mindless Palma people for company. I'd be a little odd, too. Let's cut her a break, okay? I'd say that's a reasonable request. She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. Prototype Autonomous Management Agent? Huh, so that's what Palma means. They look so happy. A little weird. Huh, this frame's got an ice block in it. Oh, okay. Item in the frame activates the circuit. Neat! Hello, Harper. It's Margaret. So good to see you. Hope you've been well. You've got to melt that ice around your heart and forgive yourself. You're not the one to blame. So what do you think of Harper's lab? I'm highly impressed. Although that painting does make me sad. Look how happy they used to look together. That did nothing. This frame's empty. Hey Harper, it is wonderful to see you. You've always been like a bright beacon, a torch of hope to this world's citizens. Greater than all the world's redstone, you made all our lives better. Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. I don't know what I would have done in your position. We're still gonna save Lucas, don't you worry about that. I'll try not to. Maybe there's something useful inside. I mean, not useful, helpful. These might come in handy. Awesome! This is where she slept? Kind of a sad setup, huh? I can't help but feel bad for her.
One redstone torch. And hopefully one step closer to getting that headset. Hey, did you hear these fake friends Harper's got set up? Yes. I feel sorry that she was so alone, she felt like that's what she had to do. Reminds me a little of Soren. Yeah, you're right. Well, that's why it's good we're here to help. Here you go, Harry. All right, I think that's everything. That did the trick. <laughs> this must be Harper's headset. Do we even know what this is supposed to do? I know you feel pretty confident that Harper's one of the good guys now, but... I just want to make sure that putting on an electronic device built by the same person who built that monster machine is worth the risk. Whatever it does, we're going to use it to defeat Pama and free everyone under its power. Not 100% sure how, but we will. Woo! Go team! to see something. What are you seeing? Is Palma there? Or more monsters? You're not gonna believe this, but I'm a zombie. Oh, you're too hard on yourself. I'm controlling a zombie, like from the inside. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. But this, this is just remarkable. Harper would have to explain the specifics, but I think... It's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. Maybe it's a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. You traveled there instantly. Don't forget about Lucas, too. I need to try to save both of them. That's a great plan. I just hope they're not too far from your current location. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. Huh, clay. Unfortunately, I can't get it without a pickaxe, so it's pretty much useless. Oh, 
Ugh, I don't like sand. Stuff gets everywhere. It looks exactly like all the other zombies. Oh, it's a zombie in the flesh, in the rotting, super gross flesh. Do zombies talk? Like, can they understand each other? Huh, let's see what I can craft. Sweet! Enough of these, and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down too. These should do the trick. Sorry to craft and run, but I'm afraid I need to be going. Ivor, the signal, it, it blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace subroutine initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Palma? Palma? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do. Don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all her knowledge will be mine. Yay! Let Harper and Lucas go, Pama. But, Jesse, I am so happy to have them. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go! We're all a bunch of happy moms, right? Let My go! My team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I'm a skeleton now. Oof. Poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse, what are you doing? Technology is so awesome. And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Palma's still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Buddy, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Harper! Harper? Please, you are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, Palma. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. And no sign of Lucas. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination <laughs> sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Over? I'm just getting started. Oh no. Time to move.
Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Chase number team running. Over? I'm just getting started. Oh no. Time to move. this Palma. So if you want to know what's inside my head, you're going to have to take it. I'm here to rescue you, Harper. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Chase number team running. Drone sequencing active. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Chase yeah. number team running. Let's move. That's what I said. Uh-oh, that sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! You cannot play hide and seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to Palma Central Core. You and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper! You must remove the redstone heart! Remove the redstone heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! I'm so tired of being dragged away while I'm trying to explain things! Don't worry, I won't let you down. I promise! Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is done, Jesse. I think we can make that headset useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I, I think... I think she's already been chipped. But we can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Harper believes in us, and we're her last hope. We're everyone's last hope to stop Palma. Harper wouldn't put her trust in us unless she knew what we were capable of. Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa, that just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before? There are three of them, Redstone Spires, and, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's, that's all I've got. No, that's perfect, thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires? Or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Palma stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma. Lead the way, Jesse.
Come on. Quick, hide! Where is the entrance to this Palma Corps, anyway? On the other side of all these mobs. There are so many of them. You guys have anything useful? These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of swiftness. And... A potion of leaping. These might come in handy. When is TNT not useful? Cool. Buttons can activate TNT, but I still need some way to connect them together. We've got TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom! Path cleared. That's great and all, but how are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! The possibilities are endless. Well, not endless. I'm going to go for the potion of leaping. All right, all right. Don't jump all over me. With this, I don't even need the redstone or buttons. I can just drop the TNT on them from the sky. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you. Potion, do your stuff. send its chip forces through it. I will find you, Chesty. I have lots of friends. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ivor, Petra, give me your buckets. Off. Go 
finish this and save Lucas.
free. Palma's out of your head now. Thank you. Jesse, behind you! Alchine, detected. Reservation, protocol initiated. What's happening? You shorted out the processing towers. Palma's withdrawing the redstone heart to save itself. Get to the redstone heart and rip it out before it's too late. You bet I will. Company. Why did I think this would be easy? Your friend looks tough. Are you sure you can handle this? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail just as you have failed to save Ruben. Just as you have failed to meet your friends back home. You will fail to defeat me and Axel, Olivia, and everyone on your home world will soon be made. Useful. Drawing it out like this won't hurt me, but it might hurt your friend. And you will remain useful. You can't force me to hurt Lucas. Good. That will make this go much faster. Okay, Lucas, come on. Let's see what you Careful, got. Careful, Jesse. I hope you know what you're doing. Ah! You cannot win. I honestly think you should sit down and think things over. No time to spare, I gotta get to that heart. Enough of this. severed their connection. Lucas, you better not be giving up on me right now, because you are way too tough for some computer to take you down. Please. Wow. Never knew you cared so much. He's okay. Ow! Just really sore. 
I can't believe I tried to kill you. I'm so sorry. All I could hear was Pama's voice, you know, telling me what to do. I, I tried to fight back, but I... I couldn't. I'm just happy you're okay. I know that must have been tough, Jesse. But I know you'll never let me down. It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous too, right? I mean, if it was inside a Pama, then it's gotta be bad. Yes, it's obviously dangerous. Actually, the heart is just a power source. Nothing inherently evil about it. Now that the Redstone Heart is empowering Pama, can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. The faster the better. How is this gonna do that? When we head to the portal hallway, I'll show you exactly how. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. Ah, to be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. You're the one who saved us. Who are you? You fought so bravely. All of you. Well, I'm Jesse, and we're the Order of the Stone. Boom! We walk the worlds, seeking adventure and doing good deeds. Wow. Well, thank you. We owe you everything. You're right. Jesse and the Order really are heroes. We couldn't have done any of this without them. Harper, is that you? Um... Yes. Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry, like from the lab. You you didn't do this to us, did you? You did? Well, I mean, hey, it, it, it's complicated. You have to understand Our that... Our home's destroyed. You don't understand. Harper helped defeat Pama, too. We couldn't have done it without her. <laughs> so what, we're just supposed to forgive her now? No. I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Do we just rebuild and forget about what happened? Whatever you decide to do, Harper will make things right and help you clean it all up. I... I will? Yeah, she will? Yeah, right, Harper? Yes, yes, I will. After I help these travelers find their way home, I'll come back help you all find new resources, and we'll make this world great again. Worth a shot, I guess. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home, again. Thank you for being so understanding, Jesse. I just hope these people can do the same when I come back again. You helped free them. I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, we'll need it. Just one more thing left to do. Goodbye. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you. See you soon, Harper. See you soon. You know, Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra. Me too.
right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? Hey, this hallway might be creepy, but at least there aren't any killer computers trying. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, it's it's fine. I'm just glad we're going home. Now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this Atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Ah. Uh. Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. You're not keeping secrets from us again, are you, Harper? No, 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 I, I promise. I just didn't think to mention it before. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the Atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny. Whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. 